Hello friends, in this tutorial we will be exploring the Android Icon animator platform which has been very recently released and it's still in its preview version right now and it's by Roman Eric and uh, it's, it's a very wonderful tool for having Android uh, icon animated icons so and it's 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 very interesting I just it was very recently released and I tried out having this simple fascinating uh, not fascinating but a very simple animation I did it it, it, were, it was very easy to do it worth an effort to explore this platform and uh, that's the reason I'm just making out this video so that so this will help you out in your exploration so this is definitely not a very fancy animation but it covers mostly all the concepts that you need to know and uh, whenever you will go through this platform it's going to be very easy to you to uh, graphs it out but uh, let's check it out so what i have done right now is uh, what my final animation what we'll be exploring in this tutorial i'll show the step by step work of having getting this animation work and then exporting it and then you can use it directly into your application so this is what our initial path or oh, icon will be and this is what we'll be turning it into an animation so this is what I've got to you as in this is the path and this is the final path with the coordinate levels so okay um, let's just check this out here so we create a new let's just start working on it so let's just make the first animation that is our A and uh, the coordinates for here it is what I've explored so this is well 11 comma 1 to the, the first line this is our line that that will have a path of around of 11 cross 1 to 22 cross 2 comma 23 so these are the paths will be which we will be drawing into it and uh, after that we'll animate it to get to this path as in 2 comma 2 13 comma 8 and this so yeah let's just do the a one first and we'll definitely explore this platform also so this is the windows that will be showing you the properties of the element that you have been selected the and this is the animation layer and this are the way these are this is the layer where you can add your own custom that's what it's own custom cvgs or you can create your own paths also so we'll right now we'll just create our own path so let's go here so new clip path new layer you can definitely have just like your uh, sketch and photoshops you can definitely have your layers with and you can animate the whole layer instead of just single path right now we'll just add one path so this is our path and uh, it should be this line what we will be doing that's 11 cross 1 to 2 comma 23 so let's just do it immediately okay so what this path states at this comma it's ha it has to have an x and an y so in this section what we can see the x starts with m so this is m comma l so m x comma y and l x comma y so let's have m which we have checked here is 11 comma 1 to 2 comma 23 2 comma 23 so fill path you can definitely have a color to it as in right f f 0 0 so that's your red color but right now in my animation I'll, I'll, I won't have the path filled I'll just write the stroke and my stroke is in black color right now and the stroke width is 1 so these are all the very standard uh, property values that you could set to this path what I will be doing is I'll just make the corners rounded so this helps my animation look good this is a stroke meter limit the trim path start and end so this is all what we don't need right now but this other properties will be needing while we'll be doing the animation so this is the first part that we have done this looks great an achievement uh, next thing let's just draw this line again it's 11 comma 1 to 22 comma 23 let's just add it immediately so this is the second path which we'll be adding m comma l which has 11 comma 1 to 22 comma 23 so 11 comma 1 to 22 comma 23 again let's just make it black Let's make the stroke width one and round. So you see when whatever path or model you will be having, you just need to get the SVG of that path, uh, or 
create your own path create it by, by yourself so this is an easy one which i'll create myself so this is 16 6 comma 13 17 comma 13 so it's again m 6 comma 13 l 17 comma 13 let's just make it black and the size is one it should be rounded yeah so this is what i want this looks slightly outside so let's just make it 16.5 ah perfect my a is done this is not very beautiful but for me this is an, a big achievement to have um right now okay so what we have right now is this um uh, this icon as an a now what we need to shift this path to this path as in this will be the final thing that will be animating so this is the final destination that we want to reach so let's just start from here a and it finally goes and reaches to b so let's just stop it at the right time so what happens is so let's just explore it here so my first path will be shifting and becoming this line my second path will go and become this line so it basically this point that is 17 comma 3 gets animated to 13 comma 18 and the final line this is the last line that, that will have a very big animation from this angle to shifting to this angle so we'll just go ahead and step by step do whatever we have to do so we just animate this first first path to a state path so yeah how do we go ahead and do the animation stuff so to know more about oh this is our icon so no so let let you know more about the icon stuff this is the animation pane that we have so the standard default value of the animation pane is 300 seconds that's why this looks so small window but you can definitely go ahead and create whatever the animation that you want so yeah this is boom this is the animation that you, oh no 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 wait yeah and uh, okay so let's just keep it 300 and the other point is that you can have multiple animations as in a sequence of animation so you can just open these another window and then have all your new animations here so we'll explore this later or we'll get to know what it is right now i just need one animation let's just keep it nanum and it is for 300 milliseconds that's 300 seconds um, i miss this part that whenever you click on your vector this is your canvas the whole canvas so you can definitely go ahead and make it 240 and 240, whatever you want to but right now for me 24 is sufficient because that's most of the standard uh, icons are of 24 dp so let's just keep it that way you can have it whatever you need to so yeah we'll be animating this line to this line so basically the bottom uh, coordinate stays the same but the top coordinate from 11 to 1 moves to 22 to 2.2 sorry 2 plus 2 pardon me so yeah how do we add an animation so here's this icon which shows list of animation that it supports right now so this is the only thing that it supports right now so it's path data which will be very loose seeing it fill color yeah so when we were creating our paths we did leave the fill color path as an empty so you can definitely change this as in every animations has a from value to to value so from if suppose we have no none as an alpha alpha completely we can change it so that's the animation here as in fill color fill alpha as in whatever your alpha should be that can be animated so these are the list of animations that has been supported it's very easy and you just have to enter the destination value to it and it gets animated uh, through that duration of time so right now what we need is a path data we know we need to move our first as this line to a path to make it as a straight line okay so yeah this is the animation that we've got and uh, the animation timeline is yes it's start time and it's end time so what i will be doing is since i need to start it at 50th millisecond i need to end it at 218 so it's 2.8 seconds and there are again the interpolators every android developer is very much famous about it so let's just keep it accelerate this rate or any of it so what do we want to animate so this is the initial uh, coordinates it's 11 comma 1 and 2 comma 23 so we want to shift it to 2 comma 2 comma 2 so this is the value that we need to change 2 comma 2 yeah nothing changed but yeah we'll get to know let's just preview it superb so this is what we wanted that this path shifts here let's we'll just stop it right now so we can just also have a preview that at which second it's at it is at which point so by this time at least is here and when it is 2.8 
it is at a final destination so you can it has a timeline and a and a preview value so this is what we did for the first part let's take care of the this let's just put this up yeah let's just take care of this this line so in this line what happens is this comma 6 comma 13 and 17 comma 13 it shifts to oh i missed this sorry so basically this is uh it should be 2 comma 13 That's the part that we so what happens 6 comma 13 shifts to 2 comma 13 and 17 comma 13 shifts to 13 comma 18. So very simple, just like the similar one in the previous one. We just change the path. We just keep our start time as a standard 50th. I want it to start at 50th and now to end it at 205 to 2.8. And my six point this shifts to 2 comma 13 and my 17 comma 13 shifts to 13,18. Ah, I got the preview. Let's just have a look animated. Okay, superb. So my path animations are working fine right now. So this is the part that I need to again, that's the final animation that I need to add to this. So, but in this case, there are two stuff. This height of this anim this path is being trimmed and this 2.23 moves to this point as in 2.23 and this line comes to this point so our bo in this case in the earlier just like the earlier cases we again animate to both the ends of the point and get it here so what you can explore here is there is there's a trim path animation start and end you can use both of it you can just go and explore it but what i have mentioned is that the similar path animation also works for me so let's just try this out again i want to start it at 50 and land it at 2800 and yeah my 11 comma 1 shifts to 13 comma 18 and my 22 comma 23 shifts to 2 comma 23 yeah so this is what i want to do of my final line so it actually I'm basically not trimming it. I'm just shortening it due with the path values. So let's just check this. What happens? Cool. So I got what I wanted to achieve. That's what we wanted to achieve it with. But let's just make this little fast. It's very slow right now. So I just keep the property values comes only after clicking this window on the animation. So let's just make it 13. 1.3 seconds Let's run this Ah, my total animations uh, Duration is still 3 seconds. So let's just make it 1400 seconds How uh, to loop faster Uh huh, this looks somewhat superb for me though not being a designer let's just this is quite on the left side so let's just move the whole final coordinates to the center so what i do is by the x-axis of the final coordinates i just add five pixels to it so two becomes seven sorry and uh, this is two becomes seven two becomes seven this becomes 18 This becomes 18, and 2 becomes 7. So basically, I've added 5 5 pixels to all the final coordinates. So it's going to just move the my whole final value, which was being on the sec second pixel. It's just going to come on the fifth pixel. You can just modify it and make it look good. You can make it look faster and better. But uh, yeah, this is what we could do. Yeah, again, what I said. So after your 1.4 seconds whatever the final uh, values of the first anime is you can just add another animation and you can make a different path out of it so from a to b it goes to b to c and c to d blah 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 whatever you can you can just add more sequence to it and uh, make your final animation so uh, let's just delete this so what we could do out of it is you can in if you it has a save feature which saves it as an icon anim so it's specific to this platform and uh, you can open it again blah, blah. 
you can export it in two different forms whichever you are comfortable with whichever your source code needs to and just use it in your application so this will this example is actually this a to b makes no sense to you but definitely you have you got the idea of how to use this platform and you can make your own custom logos you can have your own app icon or as your organization icon and bump it or animate it and make cool animations in your in your app loading animations uh, yeah you can do a lot of thing, things with this stuff um, again there are many examples you can download it from here also so let's just check it out uh, open menus back to sound icon let's just open it This is I, it had one cool animation of the search icon. Let's just explore it. I liked it a lot. Simple path mark, search to back. Let's just hope this is the one. Yeah, this looks cool. So we yeah, are getting such kind of animations is not a big task for you right now. You can just go ahead and make it by yourself. It's not a big rocket science or an artistic work. You just need to use this tool and thank Roman Eric for this and use it. Uh, that's it guys from my side you can if you have any doubt or any comments or any suggestions just just add it in the comments and I'll make sure I'll answer I'll get back to you or I'll answer it in in the best form so thank you and best of luck